In this video we create a complete Spring Boot security project. We cover all the components to a complete project. The first thing we are going to do is create a new Spring Boot project. File New Spring Starter Project Name Spring Boot Security Full Tutorial Select Type Maven Java Version 17 Packaging Jar Language Java And the following configuration Group Artifact Version Description And Package Then press Next Spring Boot Version 3.0.2 And the Dependencies Lombot Spring Security MariaDB Driver Spring Web And Spring Data JPA And press Finish and the project is created. The next step is to create a new repository in your GitHub account. Repository name. Description. Public or private. Add a readme file. Add a gitignore. Choose a license. And click on create repository. The new repository is created. To easily import all the data into Eclipse, click on code in the copy icon. Now we can create the GitHub repository in Eclipse. We do this with clone a Git repository. All data will be filled in automatically. You can click on Next. And in the next window, click again on Next. Select the correct directory. And click on Finish. As a final step, we need to add our Spring Boot project to the index of the GitHub repository. Right click on the project, Team, and Share Project. Select the repository and click Finish. Now in the Git staging view, we can convert the unstaged changes to staged changes by clicking on the plus icon. Then you need to create a commit message and click the commit and push button. Now everything has been written from the local repository to the online GitHub repository. We can start viewing this in our browser window. We can now check that everything went well. Open the repository and you will see the project you just saved. All files are now available online. We now have everything properly configured and can start creating the code for the Spring Security Project. Before we go over all the code, let's look at the structure of all the directories and classes. Our project is divided into the following packages. Config Controller DTO Mapper Model Repository and service in the application properties file we have server port 8080 and the URL username password and the driver class name for the MariaDB database we start the code with the entity classes and the repository interfaces the user entity class has the following annotations Data No args constructor All args constructor Builder Entity And table And the following fields ID with the ID and generated value annotations Username Password Authorities with all annotations needed for the many-to-many -many relationship Account non-expired Account non-locked. Credentials non-expired. Enabled. First name. Last name. Email address. And birth date. 
the authority entity class has the following annotations. Data. No args constructor. All args constructor. Builder. Entity. Table. And the following fields. ID with the ID and generated value annotations. And authority. The user repository interface extends the JPA repository with the following custom methods. Find by username. Find all. Find login user. These three methods are used for Spring Security. The authority repository interface extends the JPA repository. It is only needed to load the authorities without the user data. The next part is the code for the Spring Security config. We start with the Security config class. With the security filter chain being here we have all the request matchers and the form login with defaults. User details service being. Decrypt password encoder being. Security evaluation context extension being. This being is used to allow users to only access their own data. This works together with the find login user method of the user repository. Authentication success event listener and the authentication failure bad credentials event listener. My security user is the data to object class of the user entity class and is used in Spring Security and extends the default user of Spring Security. Note the full name field. This is composed by first name and last name. My user details service extends user details service, loads the user data from the database and checks if the data is correct. Here the username is case sensitive. Finally, the authorities are converted to granted authorities and returned as my security user. The last class of the security config is my security authentication and extends authentication and overrides all method. All the other classes are not used by Spring Security but only serve to do CRUD operations on users and authorities. The user DTO record has all the fields of the user entity except password. The authority DTO record has all the fields of the authority entity. The user mapper class is used to convert entity classes to DTO classes and vice versa. User entity to DTO. User list entity to DTO. User DTO to entity. User list DTO to entity. The Authority Mapper class is used to convert Entity classes to DTO classes. Authority Entity to DTO. Authority List Entity to DTO. Authority DTO to Entity. Authority List DTO to Entity. With the User Service and Authority Service classes, all CRUD operations are enabled and is a separation between database and controllers. In the user service class user repository M user mapper with constructor dependency injection are made available and has the following methods get login user get user by ID get all users create user update user and delete user the Authority Serves class provides Authority Repository and Authority Mapper with Constructor Dependency Injection and has the following methods. Get Authority by ID. Get All Authorities. Create Authority. Update Authority. And Delete Authority. The last part are the three controllers. In the Home Controller we have Home, User, admin and developer endpoints in the user controller get users and get user by id and in the authority controller get authorities and get authority by id this is all for part one of the spring boot security full tutorial in the next part we are going to modify the controller classes and make them work with Timeleaf so we can build a nice interface. Thanks for following, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.